Why is it so important to get kids back in classrooms safely? Just look at their report cards. A new study says students are likely to have suffered up to nine months of learning loss in math alone due to the pandemic. And as I-Team investigator Jeff Stahl reports, we're seeing concrete indicators of real academic troubles in those report cards right here at home. A lot of kids are failing or nearly failing their classes during these times of distance learning. And when it comes to D's and F's in schools, there's a good chance your kid is getting them. Look at these numbers recently presented to the Palm Springs Unified School District Board by top administrators. In middle school, 45% of their math students got a D or an F in their most recent class. In science, 49%, almost half, got a D or an F. And in social sciences, uh, not much better. 40% nearly got a D or an F. And in English, same numbers as social sciences, nearly 40% got a D or an F in their most recent class. This is a really difficult period uh, for students to be learning. During that board meeting, district administrators said that some students are failing classes, tuning out, and just giving up. Many first-timers normally doing well in class. I myself struggled a little bit last quarter in comparison to the rest of my high school career this far. High school grades no better. Nearly half of the district students got a D or an F in their most recent math class. More than a third pulled D's or F's in their science, social science, and most recent English class. It's not like students, their teachers, and parents aren't trying. They are during these most uncertain pandemic times. And this isn't isolated to Palm Springs Unified. Other districts up and down the state are also facing these very same distance learning difficulties. In Desert Sands, for example, we're seeing about a 10% increase in D's and F's with our middle school and our high school students. The Desert Sands Unified School District has already enacted plans to get students back on track academically. Not only helps them to catch up, I think it does so much for how our students feel. Nobody. Nobody likes feeling you're, like you're that far behind when you're looking at graduation and credits that you need. A 10th grade opportunity program allows students to recover their grades and credits. Voluntary small group tutoring is being offered for students in need of extra support. And the district is planning greatly expanded summer school offerings this year. We're looking at our plans are still in motion but we're looking at having a credit recovery summer school program on every single one of our high school campuses. And expanded summer school programs will be offered at every district middle and elementary school. Maybe uh, kindergartners and first graders that fell behind. It might be our English language learners that need additional support. It's been a challenge for our families, for our students, and also for our staff. Palm Springs Unified is also already creating innovative opportunities to help students improve their grades and catch up. Our request to students and parents would be if the school does or when the school does reach out to you and offer you those opportunities to please take advantage of them. Those opportunities include greatly expanded spring break and summer school offerings, booster classes already underway, allowing students to retake classes and encouraging teachers to adjust their grading to reflect more on learning, putting quality ahead of quantity of work completed. Administrators say that they are already seeing some remediation progress, but a return to in-person instruction will certainly help. It could take more than a year to really patch this troubled time of distance learning. For the I-Team, Jeff Stahl, News Channel 3. And the I-Team has not received responsive information from the Coachella Valley Unified School District for this report, despite a number of requests and contacts. We will include that information online once we get it.